Fu here, and I got an unusual ramble time. Last month, I heard one of my favorite movies is getting a remake. Let me tell you about my movie first. It's called The Puppet Master Series. It's kind of a B-rated horror movie series. Not great, not horrible, but I love it. I mean, it is just weird and over the top. It's something everyone should look at. It's about puppets that come to life and murder people. Yes. So much yes. But also, they, it, the movies actually evolved. The first one had a puppet master that controlled the puppet, killing, having them kill people. But the puppets weren't just controlled. They were living creatures. They had emotion. They had ways they acted. Each one was individual. You, you write down to how they killed people. And they, the way they acted depended on their puppet master. If you had a good puppet master, they were pretty nice creatures. They saved the world a couple times in some movies. Others, they murdered because the puppet master was an asshole. So, I mean, it just depended. It was always over the top, always weird, always funky. And it's getting a remake. And I am so torn on the director. Michael Bay is remaking it. And I have no freaking clue. I mean... Okay, Transformers 1 is good. Not great, but good. And his movies look amazing. I'd love to see it with the Puppet Master series. But he can't direct well. I mean, his actors and casting is horrid, but this is a B-movie, so will that hurt it or will that help it? it, it I'm confused on the subject. Torn in multiple ways. I mean, one way, this may help the movie. I mean, such a weird cast that doesn't act great may come in handy. I mean, you're not expecting much from a Puppet Master movie. It's a B-rated horror movie. But on the other hand, I mean, it just may bomb it and kill the Puppet Master series, which there hasn't been a new entry in it for a while. I always thought it would make a good TV show, though. Sorry, I'm rambling again, but that's why this is ramble time. But he may. I want to see how he does. They were stop motion most of the time. Well, every time. They were stop motion. Which works great, because they didn't move right. They moved wonky, weird. It was creepy. He may do it 3D, and if he can, and make it look realistic and make it work, I'll praise him for that. I mean, I'm just hoping he keeps some of the in the news, the way they act, the characters. I mean, he can do his own story even in it. But Michael... They, his most recent, Ninja Turtles 2. I was excited. I love Ninja Turtles. They, as a kid, I can still remember grabbing my Ninja Turtle sleeping bag and pillow, grabbing my Ninja Turtle stuffed animal in action figure, going into the living room and waiting for that theme song to turn on. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in the half shell. Turtle power. Sorry, I can't sing it. But, I remember it. It's a fond memory. It is a good memory. And he ruined it. The first movie wasn't horrid. I mean, it had some parts that made you think, this is Ninja Turtles. But in the whole, it wasn't great. Ninja Turtles 2, I was excited for. The trailer looked amazing. They brought in Bebop and Rocksteady. Crane. They, it looked so good. And it was horrid. There was no reason for it either. I'm hoping he doesn't do this with Puppet Master. Please, if you're listening to this, Michael Bay, if you're one of my six subscribers, please don't ruin this. Please, on my behalf at least, or I will haunt your ass. I am a ghost and I have that power. Now, this is Warlock Boo saying, don't fuck with this movie, Michael Bay. Don't screw it up. And remember, don't look behind you.